things that put us in the uncomfortable zone. Could be a crisis, could be anything, but you have to be able to move out your comfortable zone. And sometimes you are just aware of that. And I think um, this class helped us to try to move more to that uncomfortable zone. If, perhaps we won't transform everything, but um, trying to move to like the unknown zone put us yeah. closer than that to that. One thing that the class gave me is uh, an awareness that that's the way things happen, basically. And not only, I mean, if, if someone is struggling, it's okay for them to struggle. And, and that's sometimes, you know, you, you cannot just uh, see it immediately that, that that's the process that's happening. But now you can see that that's the process you're ha happening with yourself and with the other. So One of the things that I want my kids to learn yeah. is how to fail yeah. and how to pick up the pieces and go on. And my experience in the United States in terms of learning is that we don't want our kids to struggle at all. Right. Um, we want it to be fun and easy yeah. and yeah. sometimes, you know, sometimes the things that you struggle the most over or you've made the biggest mistakes on, you will learn the most from. Yeah. Actually, when I teach Jerry, uh, one of the activities I give my students, uh, it's they have to make like a bridge or a tower and I give them like subpart materials and they all, they all crash. Like, I'm like, what, why? You weren't supposed to, you weren't supposed to win at this one. And it's, you know, they get really frustrated, but you know, they, it enables me to talk about failure as far as engineering it and design how necessary it is. You cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Transformative learning demands that we be aware of both how we come to our knowledge and the values that form our internal perspectives. Each day, each interaction, each discomfort is an opportunity to define a new chapter. Watch your thoughts, for they become your words. Watch your words, for they become your actions. Watch your actions, for they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character, for it will become your destiny. I, I personally, I write something like, what time do you think you need to transform yourself? Maybe you experience some significant loss in your life, and you have some sufficient skills to be com competitive in your job market, or an organization that experience something forcibly organized into organization need to change, then this, at this moment, people are forced to, to think about, I have to change. Yeah. Often time you just say, I feel comfortable staying in my comfort zone, but I have to change. So you need to experience some significant events in your life or something just to keep your mind saying, I need to change. There is a spectrum of complexity of the interaction between how we think and how we feel. We make our judgments in a tension between our desires to have a broader perspective and stability for what we know. We test our assumptions which over time become our habits of mind as taken for granted beliefs for judgment. The more we are aware of our belief system, the more we are open to question our beliefs in making validated judgments. Self-authorship emerges through awareness of myself, others, and how I know. As I become more self-aware, I consider, who am I? Who am I in relationship with others? How do I know? How do I know what I know? This awareness provides us with a foundation, creating a strong inner voice that helps me to consider alternatives, while at the same time remain true to my core values. These permeable boundaries allow me to consider experiences and decide whether to integrate them into my way of knowing or to reject them. I contemplate. May I be gay like every lark who lifts his life from all the dark, who wings his wise beyond because and sings an if of day to yes. 
The photo that I have selected uh, demonstrates what I think of trans transformative learning in the following way. Uh, this is a picture of a pilgrimage trail in Portugal uh, that is about 500 miles long that leads into Spain. And the reason why I decided to use this one particular photo was because that it symbolizes how one has to be open to following a new path in order to transform themselves. Is this class helping me to transform myself? I think that a transformation doesn't occur within a fixed time. However, I believe that studying about what transformative learning and self-authorship means is helping me to be more aware about everyday challenging experiences that make me reflect about what I am, what is my role in the community, and what knowledge do I need to help the transformation to happen. Now I'm thinking about my PhD process. Little challenging experiences, such as studying and researching, sometimes more than what I think I can, while living in a new country with new culture, language, weather, perspectives, friends, and living for the very first time along with my daughter makes me believe that I'm living a transformation. Sometimes I feel exhausted, sometimes lonely, sometimes I feel frustrated, and other times guilty but other times I feel happy, or sad, but sometimes I feel complete. I think that transformation is not easy. Easy experiences don't make you think about yourself or about your role in the society. I can't assure that I'm different from yesterday, but I can assure that five years later, I will look behind and I will see that a transformation happened even though I won't be able to identify the specific moment of when that transformation occurred. This is my transformation learning experience, but what's yours?